So, what do you reckon? Well, it looks dead boring. It's just old folk. Oh, well, thank you very much. Afternoon, young man. What can I get you? Uh, can I have a lager shandy? No, you cannot. Oh, Simon's dad lets him have a shandy. Yeah, well, I'm not Simon's dad, am I? And if I was, he still wouldn't let you have one. How about a nice lemonade? Yeah, all right, then. Right, I'll have a pint, please, Betty. OK. Uh, Sarah not joining you, then? No, no, she's at home getting stuck into some schoolwork. So, we're being lads who lunch. Oh, you'll enjoy the food here, David. But we've got a children's menu on. What would I want that for? I'm nearly 11. Right. I'm a great company, you are. <laughs> what are you two doing here? Oh, are you? We've just had our dinner. Oh, well, you have, have you? Yeah, we have. Why is there a problem with that? Well, I don't like the idea of my ten-year-old son hanging around pubs. Oh, come off it, Gail. Isn't he with me, you know? Well, you two, be quiet. Yeah. You go ahead to the flat. We'll be there in a minute. Oh, but I want to stay here. I like no it. No arguments. Go on. You know, sometimes I think we do it to wind me up. Gail, this is a pub, right? It's not a knocking shop. I don't want him in this kind of environment, surrounded by people smoking and drinking. He's been to beer gardens loads of times. It's the same here, no. Oh, come on, Gail. You can't wrap kids in cotton wool, you know. There are more appropriate places to take a ten-year-old boy. We've had enough trouble getting Sarah through school without encouraging David to hang around pubs. Yeah, so isn't it better that he comes here with me and finds out for himself what's going on? Plenty of time for that when he gets older. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you had your way, you'd have him sat at home knitting. 